December the 8th was quite a day for uh, the Lopez family, certainly quite a day for members of the Denver Police Department, and one heck of a day for the community. And I will tell you, it was only the results of a collaborative teamwork that I believe had resulted in uh, Tony Lopez Jr.'s life being saved. It started off with our dispatchers, and from there it went to Officer Falkins, who was the first officer on the scene, who's a co-worker of Tony Jr., who provided a, a tourniquet. Uh, from there, the officers, uh, Lopez Jr., went to one of the best trauma centers in the world, uh, where he received phenomenal help from the uh, medical assistance there. But today is really about these two young people here, Dustin and, and and Courtney. Uh, they were the first individuals from EM, from uh, the paramedics to get on the scene. They quickly, and I mean quickly, assessed the situation, provided the proper medical care by providing the tourniquets, and facilitated Tony Jr. getting to the hospital in 11 minutes. And considering that that occurred at 37th and Federal, to assess that situation, provide the excellent medical assistance that they provided and facilitate him getting there in 11 minutes. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I, I have been told by several people, uh, starting with the medical staff, that it, if it had not been for them, it's a good possibility Tony Lopez would not be here today. And it's also a good possibility if it had not been for uh, him getting there in such a timely fashion, Tony Lopez Jr. probably could have lost his leg. So we're, we're very hopeful, we're very prayerful that Tony's going to have a full recovery. We're looking forward to uh, Tony wearing that uniform again. As a matter of fact, it should be mentioned that Tony Lopez is actually number four on the sergeant's list, which is phenomenal given the number of people who take the sergeant's list. So I'm, I'm really excited for him. Uh, hopefully January the 15th, somehow he's going to walk across that stage. According to him, he's going to be in full uniform. He's going to run across the stage. But we're not going to hold him to that. <laughs> but come January the 15th, he is going to get promoted to the rank of sergeant. But today is really about uh, Dustin and Courtney. So, on behalf of the members of the Denver Police Department, on behalf of the Lopez family, uh, on behalf of your co-workers and all the citizens in our city. You know, it's so easy uh, to take things for granted. And sometimes when it comes to the firefighters and it comes to the paramedics, we know you guys are great. We know you do a good job. And we kind of take for granted that you're going to do what you have to do. But it really hits home when we have to call you. With that, I would like to present you uh, a token of our appreciation. And these are honorary police badges and I, I should also say as it relates to these badges we are hiring by the way also <laughs> uh, and two commendatory letters it just really speaks to our thank you for, for what you've done yes it's, it's quite it's an honor we work with these guys every day we depend on them for our lives uh, we could not do our jobs without them so it's a great honor and uh, being able to look in his eyes and have a conversation and um, it, it was an experience that I I, I could never I can never even, I don't know, I can't, I can't put it to words, but he's amazing. And it was such an honor to meet him. So we really want to lift him up today and thank him. We have a police foundation that provided tourniquets for all 1,500 of our police officers. And, uh, and, we, and we stated that we were not going to give them the tourniquets until they received the training. So we kind of systematic went about uh, providing the training. But as a result of this incident and another incident that occurred prior to this, where another one of our officers was injured, uh, we have made it a priority. We're not going to systematically go about the training. By the end of the next couple of weeks, every member of our police department needs to be trained on how to use that tourniquet, because that tourniquet has saved uh, the lives, potentially saved the lives of two of our police officers over the, over the course of the last couple of months. So uh, uh, the paramedics helped provide that training. So it's been absolutely, it's, it's been a lifesaver. And the, the relationship that we have with them has just been absolutely phenomenal because they step up at the plate anytime we call them and tell them that we need something, in addition to being on the scene, but as it relates to training or anything else that is medical related, they've always been uh, the first to raise their hand and say, hey, we're glad to help you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's incredible work. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. So I'm not going to talk to you as Commander Tony Lopez today. I'm going to talk to you as dad. I've been doing this job going on 33 years, and uh, I've seen him do amazing things. I've seen the paramedics do amazing things, and in my heart, I knew that if they got him to the hospital, then he was going to be okay. And and thank God for uh, all the help. Thank God for all the the work done by uh, Dr. Moore and all the other uh, physicians that attended to our son, but especially Dan Falcons and the paramedics. They gave him the chance to get to the hospital uh, so that. Uh, 
the uh, medical staff at Denver Health could do their work. So from uh, the Lopez family, we are grateful. We are appreciative. Uh, we are just uh, blown away by all the support from the mayor, from Chief White, from Deputy Chief Quinones, from all his brothers and sisters in blue, and from you folks in the community. You know, he's tough like his mom. His mom, uh, when he, mom was actually pregnant with him, she was diagnosed with cancer, and she had to go through a, a procedure to have uh, a big chunk of her, like she had melanoma. And uh, I think she got, uh, he's got his toughness from mom. He's a lot tougher than dad, and the kid was up walking within uh, eight, nine days of this, and he's uh, bound and determined to wear that Denver badge. He loves being a Denver police officer. Uh, it's his dream, and he can't wait to go out and serve and protect our community.